Okay, here we're being asked to solve for n. n is our variable, and we have to solve for it. So, what are we going to do first? Well, we're going to look at the problem and look for certain things. Like, here we have parentheses, and usually we have to do parentheses first. So, we're going to distribute this 5 here into these numbers. How do we do that? Well, first we do 5 times n, and since we don't know what n is, we're just going to put 5n. 5n. Then we have a plus sign, so we're going to bring that down. 5n plus, now we have to distribute that 5 again, 5 times 2, and that's that equals 10. So 5n plus 10, we got to bring down our equal sign, equals. And now for this side, over here we have addition and multiplication. When we see that dot there, that means multiplication. It can only also be shown in parentheses like we see here, um, but in this case it's in multiplication. So we do that first, following the order of operations. Um, and that's 6 times 3 equals 18. Let's bring that down. Let's bring that plus sign down. And also the 2. Uh, now we're going to do, let's work on this side of the problem. 2 plus 18 equals 20. So we're going to simplify that. Again, our equal sign, bring it down. Our 10 and our 5n. Now it's important to write down everything that you do. So if you're doing a test and your teacher wants to see your work, she can see what you've done and see if you've made an error, or um, she could see how you solved the problem. So that makes it easier. And now we want to isolate this variable. And what isolating the variable means, it's, it means we want to make this one stay by itself. So, we're going to move this number over here. And how do we do that? Well, we see this addition sign. We're going to make it into a subtraction. We're going to subtract 10 from 10. And that cancels out. And we're also going to do it to this side, too. So, 10, 20 minus 10 equals 10. And then we're going to bring this all the way down here. We have a 5 n equals 10. Now we're almost done because we need to again isolate this variable. We want to get the n by itself. So how do we do that? Here we see multiplication. So the opposite of that would be division. So we want to divide 5n by 5 and do the same on the, this side. 10 divided by 5. This crosses out. And here we get 10 over 5, which equals, which is like 10 divided by 5, which is 2. So there's your answer. N, because you isolated it, so bring it down. N equals 2. And there's your answer.